Hey everybody, Shortbox Pug here, and today we are doing another CGC unboxing. So I don't know exactly which shipment this is. It's either a 12 book submission or a 13 book submission. Uh, I don't know the grades yet, but let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, so let me... Okay, so this is going to be uh, the Witch's Bad Egg Halloween Special. This is a little mirror cover. I wanted to say this was a 9-8, but with these metal covers, you never know. You know, if anything's wrong with the back cover, if anything like that could be bad. So let's see what we got. So 9-6. I'm happy with that. That's not bad. I got this from a con a couple years ago. I always loved witches and I love Jeff Lemire, so I wanted to pick that up. So, very happy with that one. Let's see what we got next. Let's check this out. Okay, so this is Batman 98. This is the Jimenez variant, the one in 25. So, I thought this was going to be a 98. Uh, I love this cover. Wanted to get it graded. So, yeah, we got a 98. I love Jimenez's art. I love these uh, design covers. They're really cool. And uh, I'm glad Jimenez is getting the love he deserves. There we go. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Okay, so this is Deceased Dead Planet number one. This is the fourth printing, uh, the Momoko cover. Uh, I really like her art. And let's see what we got. 9-8. Perfect. I was a big fan of this cover. I'm glad it came back 9-8. See what we got next okay so this is far sector number one uh this is starting to gain some heat because of the green lantern show announcement i thought this was going to be a 9-8 uh it looks really good oh i do see one thing on the back corner the bottom left corner it seems to be blunted a little bit so let's see what we got 9-8 yep so this is the first app of sojourner joe mullion I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but I'm a huge Green Lantern fan, um, and I do love this series. It's, uh, it's, a good little, it's a good little minor key. Okay, let's see what we got next. Hopefully she shows up in the Green Lantern show. That'd be dope. So, Undiscovered Country number one. This is the Jock variant, I believe. So, I was a big fan of Undiscovered Country. I love Scott Snyder, and I love Jock's work. Uh, I thought this was going to be a 9-8. It looks really good. Let's see what we got. 9-8, cool. Love this cover. So this batch is mostly just like little spec books and some minor keys. The other one we're going to be doing is going to be all new comic book day ones. Um, so this one is Batman number 22. This is a lenticular cover. I was a big fan of these. Um, when they first came out, the whole button arc. And uh, I wanted to get this graded because I wanted to try for a 9-9 nine, nine or a 10, you know, if possible with these. Let's see what we got. 9-8. Very happy with that. It's a very cool uh, issue. Big fan of that. Alright, so let's see what else we got here. So, Magnificent Miss Marvel number 13. This is going to be the first app of Amulet. Um, you know, good little spec book to invest in. I feel like these characters are eventually going to show up in the show. And I mean, the, the series is pretty dope. I, I love uh, the, the original Miss Marvel run. And the Magnificent one has been really well uh, written as well. I thought this was going to be a 9-8. It's a modern book, so, you know, uh, there wasn't any damage that I could tell from the cover. So let's see what we got. 9-8. Awesome. Very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, so... So we should have seven more books, I believe. So let's see what we got next. So this is Dark Knight's Death Metal number three. This is the Robin King cover. Uh, I thought this was going to be a 9-8. I love this cover. Uh, let's see what we got. 9-8. Very cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. So Justice League issue number 30. This is the second cameo appearance of Jessica Cruz. With all the Green Lantern news, I mean, this is the perfect book to get back right now. Um, I sent one in already and got a 9-8. This will be my second copy. 
I, there is something in this corner right here that had me concerned that it might be a 9.6, but it looks like it might be a 9.8 because it's a binary tear, so it might be, you know, good enough. So let's see what we got. 9.8, perfect. I do think Jessica Cruz is a good character to spec on, especially with the HBO series coming out. Those are going to be like Green Lanterns that they would use for a TV show. So I'm hoping they do show up because they're cool characters. So, ooh. Something is killing the children number one. This is the fifth print variant. I did see recently the print count is only like 2,000 So I have a couple other issue ones at CGC right now like the main covers that I'm waiting to get back um, I thought this was gonna be a 9.8. It's a it's a good Good copy. I wish I had the sixth print as well. I wanted to get all the printings and send them in but you know Don't have that so we're just gonna go with this one. I thought this was gonna be a 9.8. Let's see what we got 9-8. Perfect. Yeah, big fan of this. I'm glad it came back a 9-8. Okay. So next we have Green Lantern number 20. Uh, so this would be my third copy that I've sent in. I got a 9-6 on one and a 9-8 on the other. These square bounds, for some reason, do not love me. So this is going to be... Um, the first appearance of Jessica Cruz in a one-panel cameo. It's also Jeff Jan John's last uh, Green Lantern issue. I was a huge fan of his run. This was an awesome way to end it. Um, I am sad that he's going to be leaving DC, though. I did see recently him and Fabok are leaving DC to go to Image. Uh, I can't wait for those stories, but, I mean, it's still kind of sad. So, I thought this was going to be a 9-8, but we'll see what we got. 9-6. Yeah, so... That's a bit of a bummer because it does look really clean. I don't see exactly why it's a 9.6, but it is what it is. Glad to have another one. Okay, down to a couple more books here. I think there's only two more. So let's see what we got next. So which is number one? Yeah, this is the A cover. So uh, I, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Scott Snyder um, and Jock. I really am excited. I have like 15 of these A covers to send to CGC eventually. I know it's optioned already, but I feel like this is going to be a good book to have down the line because, you know, it's going to be coming to like a movie or TV show. So it's a good book to have. I thought this was going to be a 98 copy. The back cover is really dark, which did worry me for some things, but this is a really clean copy. Let's see what we got. 98. Perfect. I love this story. I, I really can't wait for uh, more witches stories to come out, but really happy. This is really close to the edge. They did a horrible job at centering, <laughs> but hey, it's a 9-8. I'm glad it's a 9-8. Okay, so this is our last one. Awesome. So we're ending with one of my personal favorites, Farmhand number one. I'm a huge Rob Guillory fan. Uh, one of my few books in my personal collection is a Chew Number One signed by Rob Guillory, and he also did a Poyo sketch on it. Um, it's he's one of my favorite artists, and definitely I love that he wrote and uh, penciled this series because his art is fantastic. I thought this was going to be a nine eight. It's a really clean copy. Uh, let's see what we got. Nine eight. Very happy. Um, yeah. So I do currently have another hundred books at CGC right now but they are getting pressed and uh, also graded, so it takes a long time. I will be doing some more submission or some more submissions and unboxing soon, so uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and uh, yeah, thanks again, guys.